This is the GK96S from EpoMaker, or EpoMaker, whichever. A 96% keyboard with some decent modularity. 96% is one of my favorite layouts for productivity without having to sacrifice taking up too much desk space. However, having everything squished together can be a bit tricky to type on sometimes and is something to get used to. However, this review isn't all about the layout. It's about the board, so let's get into it. For starters, this is a Bluetooth capable board with a 4,000 milliamp battery and a USB-C connector for a wired alternative. You have an option to get the numpad on the right or the left. I wish I had mine on the left, but that's fine. It's just a personal preference. I absolutely love that there is a Southpaw option because having the numpad on the left is a very rare thing to find. However, you lose the arrow keys if you do get the Southpaw variant of this board, which is a bit disappointing since 96% is all about having compressed productivity. Out of the box, the keycaps on mine were tailored for Mac OS in the first row. However, the Windows version of the keycaps are included as well. There's a whole bunch of functions laid out on the keycaps caps, as well as the capability to connect to four different devices, three via Bluetooth and one via USB. That might be a bit overkill, but it's there. The power button is located on the bottom of the case to force the keyboard to turn off. Now, let's get into the material quality of the board. The case is entirely plastic, the plate seems to be aluminum, and the keycaps are made out of PPT plastic. They're fairly thick with mostly straight edges and are reinforced. Any of the blemishes in quality seem to be underneath the keycap, which is nice, and I didn't notice too much warping with the longer keycaps. These caps are dye sublimated as well. As far as switches go, you have the choice between Gatoron Mechanical or Gatoron Optical switches. Both are mechanical, just one uses light and the other one uses pins. Both of these variants are hot swap, which is great. Mine came with Gatoron Black Optical switches. These are great switches, honestly. Optical switches have less resistance and are easier to lube, won't require soldering at any point, and you don't have to worry about bent pins. The only drawback is that there aren't nearly as many options for optical switches when compared to traditional mechanical switches. Including the packaging is a nice braided USB-C cable, a set of keycaps for Windows commands, extra switches to try it out, and a keycap and switch puller all in one. Now let's hear how this board sounds stock. It sounds pretty decent actually, it's just a bit loud for my taste. Unfortunately, the stabilizers are only plate mount. A big opportunity is left out here again since there's no option to use screw-in stabilizers. Anyways, they rattle a bit, but I couldn't let this board go without modifications. So I lubed all the switches with Crytox 105 grade zero, clipped, lubed, and band-aid modded the stabs, added sorbethane inside the case, threw on some cheap knockoff custom keycaps, and this is what it sounds like now. Honestly, I love the sound of this board and the feel. The stabs could be better, but 
they're pretty much as good as they're going to get for being plate mounted. The price of this board is still unknown, but it's available for pre-order on Kickstarter with prices starting around $70. My best guess is that this will cost around $100. And for that price, I really like this board. Optical Gatoron blacks are smooth and have a nice clack to them. The layout is offered with southpaws an option and the RGB LEDs work great. There's no QMK support, which is a bit unfortunate, but there is software to go along and program what you need for the board, and I'm fine with that. If you love 96% boards and you're on a budget to not spend just $200 on a kit, keep an eye on this one. If you guys want to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing and checking out the rest of the channel.